Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 19 today, verse 41 to 44. Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known, even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes, for days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you, surround you, and close you in on every side, and level you and your children within you to the ground. And they will not leave in you one stone upon another, because you did not know the time of your visitation. So Jesus is coming. He's coming into Jerusalem. And he stops, he pauses on the way, he pauses, and when everybody's rejoicing and we're getting ready to have the big party, Jesus is weeping. He's weeping because Jerusalem is going to reject him. Jerusalem is going to reject God's purposes for itself. It's just so sad, and Jesus is overcome with sadness because it doesn't have to be this way. When we allow self to rule, we will be oblivious. We will not be interested in what God is doing. We will, we will be God. We'll be like 2 Thessalonians 2, where the Antichrist sits on the throne, sits on the, tem the temple of God, saying that he is God. That's the way it'll be for us. And when God comes along with a, a beautiful proposition, we'll be in alienation to that. So Jesus, Jesus is sad, so sad, because the people do not know the time of the visitation. Look out into our world today. Do people realize how far advanced we are in the prophetic train? Do people realize how close we are to the time when God is going to intervene and change this whole picture and Jesus will come literally to this world? How, how many people are, are alert to that? Probably not so many. So friends, let's, be, uh, let's you and I be alert and be glad that our Lord is coming. Let's not be like those who do not know the time of their visitation because look around you. Look around you. Your redemption is drawing near. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your great mercies. Thank you that you are continuing your plan. Hundreds of years, thousands of years you've had this plan, and it's coming to fruition, possibly even in our lifetime. Help us to be faithful, Lord. Use us in whatever way you want to use us in these in hours, approaching hours of intensity. This is our request, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may the God of heaven bless you, particularly you, today.